In Hyderabad, a next-generation biotech startup is quietly working to change the way vaccines and cancer immunotherapies are developed. Popvax, founded by Soham Sankaran, a Yale graduate and a Cornell PhD dropout, calls itself a full-stack biotechnology firm, building biomedicines in-house from concept to clinic. Popvax is pursuing what it calls the Million Lives Mission an effort to develop vaccines aimed at preventing diseases responsible for over 1 million deaths annually. Its current pipeline includes candidates ranging from COVID-19 to flu, hepatitis C and TB as well. The company uses generative AI to design mRNA-based vaccines and immunotherapies. These are being developed to be more thermally stable and broadly protective against evolving pathogens. Preclinical data from animals suggest immune responses which in fact seem to be several fold higher than those seen with existing vaccines for COVID-19 and the flu. Popvax's lead program is a broadly protective COVID-19 vaccine which is set to begin human trials sponsored by the US National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. The vaccine is being developed as an open source product to promote wider global access. While demand for COVID-19 vaccines has declined, the company considers this program a way to demonstrate its R&D capabilities. The firm is also working on a self-administered flu vaccine using a dissolvable microarray patch. This project is being conducted in collaboration with a German company and is supported by the US Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority. If successful, this could be amongst the first such delivery formats to reach market. To date, Popvax has secured $20 million in research contract funding, including $15 million from Vitalik Buterin's Balvi Fund and $1.2 million from the Gates Foundation. The company has not raised equity capital so far, but expects to require significant funding over the next three to five years to advance clinical trials. It is exploring options such as partnerships with pharmaceutical companies, venture capital or public markets. While discussions with both Indian and global firms have taken place, the company has not pursued these partnerships to avoid near-term dilution. In the Indian context, Popvax intends to become the first Indian biotech company to secure US regulatory approval for a novel vaccine and to develop a biologic drug with over $1 billion in annual revenue. Benchmarks that have yet to be met by the domestic industry. However, Popvax, which has opted to stay out of the generics and biosimilars segment, remains an early stage company. It faces several challenges, including scientific and regulatory hurdles, as well as substantial funding requirements, particularly in competitive and evolving markets like the US. It is part of a small but growing group of Indian biotech firms focused on novel, innovation-led product development, a space where countries like China have invested heavily over the past decade, intensifying global competition.